Hi, this is Jackie from Holidays and Craft, and today I'm going to do a tutorial on Lois's Hummingbird Feeder. Now, I apologize, my head may be out of frame, but I really wanted you to be able to see what I was doing, and so I had to zoom things in a little bit. So these are the finished Hummingbird Feeders. Uh, this one I've put on a chain, and this one has the base. The base, there will be a base on this one as well. Um, so this is what they look like finished. I'm going to move that out of the way. And uh, this is just a wine bottle on a base. So I've used the screw top wine bottle because it fits in the base a little bit better. Uh, so let me screw that back in. And what I do is I, I paint the flowers on the wine bottle. So in order to get the paint to work well, I want to make sure I don't have any oils from my skin, from my hands on the uh, bottle. So I'm going to clean it off just with alcohol, just rubbing alcohol, cleaning the bottle. And then I'm going to put the bottle aside so that that can dry. And while that's drying, I want to talk about this chain a little bit. So this is a uh, just a, a chained plant hanger. It's got three chains on a hook. And then these are macrame rings. So what I've done is I've hooked the chain to the macrame rings, but these rings are very slick. So the, the chain just kind of moves around a lot. So I've covered the ring in floral tape. And then I put one bead on each side of a chain. And then I crimp the chain really tight. And that, between the friction, the bead, and the crimping, it holds it pretty stable so that the, the chain won't move around too much. What's really important when making these uh, bottle hangers is that you make sure that your rings are far enough apart. So see, the small ring sits right on the neck of the bottle and if you don't put the big ring up high enough, the bottle isn't stable and it just kind of flops around and falls out. And you don't want it to fall out. You want it to be nice and stable like this one. So that's how you do the chain. I'm going to move this off to the side. I'm going to move this and let's get back to our bottle here. So what I did was I hand painted flowers on the bottle. Uh, not everybody likes to hand paint. I like to hand paint because, you know, it's kind of relaxing and fun and everyone comes out a little bit different. But you can also use a stencil if you'd like or even permanent vinyl. You can cut out a design on a, a cutting machine and use permanent vinyl on these bottles. All of it is fine. It all looks beautiful and uh, it just customizes it your way just because it different, it's different doesn't mean it's wrong. They're all amazing and beautiful. So I'm going to paint this bottle and when I go to paint flowers, I like to have a little practice run first um, just to kind of get things flowing and, and whatnot. I can always clean a mistake off of the bottle, but it just makes me feel better if I do a little practice first. So I'm going to grab a brush here and I think I'm going to use red. And I want to make a petal. So when I make a petal, I'm going to put some pressure down and then pull the brush toward me and let up the pressure like so. And I come in with a little tip. It's a little bit thinner at the bottom. I want to make sure to use plenty of paint. And I'm just going to make several of these around a circle. They don't have to be perfect. No one's perfect, right? And we just keep going. And this paint is a little thinner than the other paint, I think. Comes out a little different. And then I think I want yellow in the center of that red flower. So I'm going to get a different brush. Let's use this one. I'm going to take a little yellow and I'm going to do some more. Ooh, that's good. And I'm going to do a little more petal. Yeah, yeah, I like that. So 
going to take a little brush, maybe put a few black dots in there. So I like that design. That's similar to the one I did on this hummingbird feeder. Another one um, I like to do is to take the black, like you've seen I've done in these other practice runs, and make a little branch. And then you could just use some polka dot painting to make it look like it's a, it's a little cherry blossom. So you just put little dots around your branch. And these little dots didn't come out very good. Maybe I need a thinner brush. There we go. Let's put some different colored dots. Oh yeah, that's a better dot. So I really like both of these designs. Um, so it's just a matter of choosing which one I want to do. So I'm going to clean up my brushes a little bit here and some water. Now, when I'm done painting, I actually clean the brushes. Really, I'm just rinsing them out at this point. I'm just using a paper towel to kind of dry up some of the paint. And I'm putting them in a separate container. That way I know which ones have been used and which ones haven't. Okay, let's move this over. Get to our bottle. Let's see. Let's use this one. And I think, oh no, that's too flat. I don't want that. I want that one. That one will do better. And let's uh, let's go with pink. Nice little pink flower. So the name of this hummingbird feeder is Lois's Hummingbird Feeder. Lois was my mother-in-law, and she was sick last summer. She was very ill, and I spent some time with her, and uh, we used to just sit on the back deck and talk about things, and she's the one that came up with this idea for the hummingbird feeder. She really, really enjoyed hummingbirds. So this is definitely Lois's hummingbird feeder. So if you can see that, I've got just kind of a little pink outlay of a flower. And then I'm just going to build upon that pink flower with some different colors. I like this purple. I'm going to put some purple in there. Oh. Well, that purple didn't work out. Let's fix that. There we go. That's one thing I like about painting. This is kind of a, a layered design, so if I make a mistake, I can just go back and layer over it and fix it. All right. Now I'm going to use a lighter pink. And now I want to put some leaves on there. Now, Leaves, I do very similar to the same way I do a petal. A little bit different technique, but it's pretty close. So I've got some green here, and I'm going to put it right on the glass, a little pressure, and twist to make that my little leaf. Put four little leaves around this. Now, obviously, it's going to take me some time uh, to cover this bottle with these little flowers. <laughs> and so I'm not going to bore you with the whole tutorial on making little flowers all over the thing. Um, but what I want to do is I want to protect that little flower. I live in Western Washington. If I was to set one of these hummingbird feeders outside and it rained, it would damage the flower. And I don't want that. So I like to let this paint dry overnight. Now, it doesn't take overnight for this paint to dry. I just am more comfortable letting it set that long. And then I take a nice spray clear gloss to coat it and protect it. And then I'm going to let it sit overnight again. And then I'm going to put another coat of clear gloss on it. I want at least two coats to protect these flowers. Now, when you're using a spray gloss, you want to protect the bottom part, the hummingbird feeder part, because you don't want that all over here. So I've been putting saran wrap around the bottom and then just spraying it. And then you're done. Um, get your chain, hang it up in a tree, and watch the hummingbirds come. So I hope you enjoy Lois's hummingbird feeder. 
I'm going to put this up on our website as a finished product, as a kit. And I'd like to do this as a, uh, one of our parties. The problem is letting it sit overnight is not, not very good for a party. We're not going to have the party last that long. But maybe we can work something out with a host or hostess and, and make that work. Uh, so if you like our crafts, go ahead and visit us at our website, holidaysandcraft.com. Or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel here. And we're also on TikTok. Thank you. Goodbye.